Hendrawan and Shanja Wajaya are two players who have participated in many international championships. As badminton continues to grow in popularity, one of the greatest challenges among his players is the pressure to always be a champion. Saya bilang cukup penting karena Indonesia berbeda dengan olahraga. I think badminton is quite important because in Indonesia it is a sport which is considered to be a source of pride for the country. To come second or to only enter the semi-finals is considered failure. You have to be a champion. Badminton is the only sport in which Indonesia has ever won a gold medal at the Olympics. That is why badminton is prestigious and important for Indonesia. My greatest moment was when I became Olympic champion in Sydney. In the Olympics, you play for yourself, but also as a representative for your country at the highest level, as the Olympics is the biggest sporting event in the world. It was such an overwhelming experience. The hard times, the long wait, the pressures and the challenges, they all disappeared at the Olympics. The Olympics is the biggest event in sport because it showcases a country. Every Indonesian is hoping for gold medals, so I felt a big responsibility to deliver a gold medal for the country. I played very well in all my matches, from the first round to the final. I was just one step away from winning a gold medal, but I failed. I felt very disappointed. At that time, I was able to hand it over to Jesus Christ, and I believed that whatever happened would be the best for me. And as it turned out, God's plan was different than mine. I aimed for gold, but I got a silver medal. Like many of their fellow Olympians, Hendrawan and Chandra both feel the weight of their country as they compete to win under such great expectations. To be a champion means I have to be different than others. The commitment demanded by being a champion is different from the experience of ordinary people. People are very critical when you lose because they always expect Indonesia to be the champions. After I lost in the Olympics, I thought my career was over and that I had no more purpose. But Jesus gave me so much more. In my career when I lose, people look down on me and blame me. But it is during those hard times that my faith in God grows. Being famous and respected is great. But what is more beautiful is working with God, knowing that God loves me and being His. It is the most important thing for me. I just want to be remembered as a humble, nice and ordinary person. Not as a world champion, 
or Olympic champion. I want to be remembered as a person who does not turn away from God's commandments. I just want to follow God's way. The Olympians featured in this program represent the highest in personal achievement. It is the result of hard work and dedication. But along with their passion for sport, they also share another passion. I believe that my career and my fame will end someday. Just like an old river, my popularity will automatically dry up. Jesus thought that there are more important things in this life, that there is eternal life. That is what I was looking for, not success as a badminton player or popularity. Because I know Jesus Christ, I am certain that I have found eternal life. The Bible says that if you declare Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you can begin a new relationship with him, to know him personally, to have eternal life. Admit that you've gone your own way and ignored his. Agree with him that this is wrong. By faith, ask him to forgive you. Surrender your life. Let him guide you. He promises to transform you to grow you into the person he created you to be. Trust him. Give your life to him today. You'll never be the same.